What's going on, the Nova Squad? My name is Nova. Welcome back to the channel. So, a lot of you guys actually have sent me a bunch of emails, along with actually leaving it in the comment section that Shane Gills actually had hosted the uh, the SNL. Um, um, I think the um, I want to say it was like yesterday, about, about, about the time that we are recording, which is kind of ironic because he was fired from it like a few, a few years back. But they, they 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 asked him now since he's a you know a bigger name because they actually believe that he was um, a waste of time, or whatever. So we're going to react to this and everything. Uh, I think I'm the only one who's reacted to this, but most likely I can't really actually show the actual video. So I'm gonna go put up the actual like, um, a, a screenshot of when he was at the actual scene. You know? So hopefully you guys actually still enjoy it, just like I did because, well, 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 I'm saying I did because I'm actually am redoing the actual intro because the the first one it was, it was very sloppy, and I was um, starting too much. Uh, and I was quiet because I was, because of the, 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 the kids were asleep and I was still starting. Oh, Christ. But anyways, without further ado, here we go. <laughs> it's just so goofy. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I'm here. I, uh, <laughs> most of you probably have no idea who I am. Uh, I was actually, I was fired from this show uh, a while ago, but if, you know, don't look that up, Which is please. Ironic. If you don't know who I am, please don't Google that. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it's so I, uh, ironic. I don't know. I, this is, I, sh I probably shouldn't be up here, honestly. I should be home. I should be, I should be a high school football coach. That's what I should be. Like, God molded me perfectly. <laughs> To be a high school football coach <laughs> slash ninth grade sex education teacher. <laughs> All right. But that is <laughs> that is what I want to be. That is, you know, I can feel it. It's in the, it's like my true calling. And you feel, you know, I can feel it, you know, I'm getting older, it's passing me by. You know, mm. like my biological clock is ticking on this stream. You know how like uh, you know how, like when a, a woman's biological clock is ticking, she sees like a baby in a stroller and is like Oh my God, your baby! Like that's how I am. If I see like like a big 15-year-old, I'm like, Oh my God, look at the size of that kid. <laughs> With the right coaching, that kid could be something special. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I actually I come from a long line of coaches in my family. My my father is actually a volunteer assistant girls' high school basketball coach. All right, yeah. <laughs> He's actually here right now. You get him on there? Yeah. He <laughs> feels up in there. Okay, I see you feel. <laughs> There's my dad, awesome. the volunteer awesome. assistant girls high school basketball coach. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. All right. You don't think oh, that's funny awesome. to bring my dad here to make fun of him for being a girls high school basketball coach? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I thought it was great. Never mind. <laughs> that was going to be a big hit here. Uh, now my mom's up there with him. My mom, <laughs> I'm not going to make fun of you. <laughs> my mom asked me this a lot, and it's kind of an intense question. My mom asked me, she's like, when did we stop being best friends? And she's right. We used to be best friends. You remember that when you were a little boy and you, like, you loved your mom and you thought she was the cool? You remember when you were gay? <laughs> you remember when you were just a gay little boy? Every little boy is just their mom's gay best friend. There's literally zero difference. I was gay for my mom. She would pick me up from school. I'd hop in the van. I'd be like, girl, tell me about your day. <laughs> I thought she was cool. I would listen to her music. I'd be like, bam, 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 bam. Let's go, girls. I would, I would dance for her. Just, just be like, look at my little dancer. <laughs> but uh, my mom asked me when we stopped being best friends, and I don't, I don't have the heart to tell her because, like most men, I know exactly when me and my mom stopped being friends. It was, uh, it was the first time I whacked off. Jesus. Uh, all right. Because before, <laughs> before that, you're like, oh, where's my mom? I love my mom. She's so cool. One nut, you're like, when's that bitch going to leave the house? <laughs> I have so much business to attend to. <laughs> all right. I hope I could say those words on TV. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, my whole family's here, so I'll talk about them instead of anything else. Uh, talk about my family. I'll tell you this. I don't know if you guys, uh, if you can tell by looking at me, but I do have family members with Down syndrome. <laughs> it almost got me. I, 
I dodged it, but it nicked me. It nicked me. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Look, I don't have any material that can be on TV, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Also, yeah. this place is extremely well lit. I can see everyone not enjoying it. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, just the most nervous I've ever been. Don't clap now. Shut up. <laughs> no, I talk about, I brought up Down Syndrome. You, got, you can always tell who's never been around Down Syndrome when you bring it up. Like, if I tell people, if I'm like, yeah, I have family members with Down Syndrome, people that have never been around it are always like, oh... Like it's like it's the end of the world. Like, oh, are they okay? Are they doing? It's like they're doing better than everybody I know. <laughs> they're the only ones having a good time, pretty consistently. Mm. They're not worried about the election. <laughs> they're having a good time. My niece, <laughs> my niece has Down syndrome, and uh, I thought that was gonna get a bigger laugh. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were allowed that fun here. Uh, <laughs> But no, my niece has Down syndrome. It's a funny thing that happens when someone in your no, family has Down syndrome. Though. It goes, when you're, my sister was pregnant, everybody was like very, very scared. And then once, you know, once they come into your life, you realize that's easily the only good member of your entire family. <laughs> it's crazy. And then your family gets like too proud. Like now every single day in my family's group text, it's just pictures of my niece. And every day somebody else in my family comments, she looks exactly like Uncle Shane. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, I see it a little. <laughs> And there's no denying it, she does. She looks like me with bangs. <laughs> just happy. Wow. Just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. But my sister, my sister, my niece's mother, she didn't know she could get pregnant, so she, she foster cared and then adopted three black kids, and then she finally got pregnant, and now she has a kid with Down syndrome, and uh, her husband is from Egypt. He's an Arab guy. You go over to their house, it's like getting in the craziest Uber pool you've ever been. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you guys meet? This is... <laughs> but there's something, I don't know, my niece, one day, I'm not saying it's like something I'm looking forward to, but I think it'll be a nice thing uh, for the whole country. Uh, I would say when my niece is probably in like fifth, sixth grade, out at recess, and some white kids out there are like, hey, you're not allowed to play with us, you're retarded. And then uh, three black mm. kids come flying out of nowhere. <laughs> You start wailing on that crap. Oh, 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 like, oh, oh, oh. It's, like, it's like a nice moment. <laughs> yeah, you guys you said cracker. Uh, oh, super. I, I was like, <laughs> I, I couldn't have No, we, uh, my family and I, we actually we opened a coffee shop in my hometown for people with Down syndrome to work at. And uh, it's going, don't clap. <laughs> I didn't do it for the claps. I did it, uh, you know, it's going exactly how you'd think it would go. <laughs> It's doing well, actually. Lying around the corner every day. Not because there's like a ton of people going, but service is... <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting apple juice. We don't know how to fix that problem. <laughs> so stupid. There's one thing you know... <laughs> There's one thing you notice, though, when you work with these guys, and it's very, it's funny. There's literally, there's zero difference between us and them. And uh, especially at work, there's no difference. Every day these dudes show up to work just. <sighs> and you're like, what's your problem, dude? They're like, I hate this job. So. <laughs> All right, hey, we've got a great show for you tonight. 21 Savage is here, so stick around. We'll be right back. Thank you. That was good. You know what? You know, even though Shane was very, uh, Shane was very nervous, he did an awesome job. Um, most likely, I will be able to actually like visually like show you guys whatever. So I just like you know throw up an actual um, throw up an actual um, picture or thing, whatever. But man, for real, it's like you know, even though he actually had mentioned he actually uses old material with it, it it still hits. It's still funny. Uh, Shane. Awesome job if you get if, if you do end up uh, if you do end up seeing this man for real but uh but yeah uh, that's all I got for today um if you guys really enjoyed this reaction today make sure you hit that like button subscribe and share let it on the comment section down below what you to react to next thank you so much for watching and as always my name is Nova and I'll see you guys next episode peace.